Today, the Orange County District Attorney's Office filed four counts of special circumstance murder with allegations that there were multiple murders and that the murders were committed while lying in wait and with the use of a deadly weapon. If 23-year-old Itzquatl Ocampo is convicted, he faces a minimum sentence of life in prison without the possibility of parole. These charges also mean that Ocampo is eligible for the death penalty. Victim number one, December 20th, 2011, 53-year-old James McGillivray. This was the key to the case because the incident, which took place at a commercial complex at 140 North Bradford in the city of Placentia, was caught on a surveillance video. While wearing dark pants and a black hooded sweatshirt, the defendant is accused of walking quickly and with a clear purpose to where Mr. McGillivray was lying. Kneeling on the victim's chest and mounting the victim, and stabbing him several times. The defendant is accused of stabbing the victim, this victim, Mr. McGillivray, more than 40 times. In each of these cases, the violence, the number of st stabbings, the number of stab wounds of each victim increased. The Orange County Crime Lab pathologist concluded that the weapon was, that was used was remarkably similar in each of these cases, if not the same weapon. A single edge blade, at least seven inches long, made of heavy gauge metal. The blade had gone through bone without chipping or breaking the blade. And this is a picture of the knife that we believe that it is the murder weapon. This is called a K-bar bulldozer. The fourth victim in this case was featured and pictured in a Los Angeles Times article. There's a picture of him talking to a police officer. The evidence is going to show in this case that the defendant specifically sought out this victim for participating in this article. He relished the media attention of the crime. He stalked the victim until he got him. The defendant when he was contacted by the, uh, by the police, had blood on his hands and blood on his face. And he's, then he was identified in infield lineups. Investigators located bloody clothing, including a black hoodie, gloves, and a K-bar knife where the defendant Ocampo, or near where he was apprehended. We'll be proving that the defendant planned all of these murders in advance, that he stalked his victims, that he looked for the right opportunity to execute them. He did execute them. And we'll also be proving that he had additional victims already selected. He went through checkpoints twice. And spoke to officers. Spoke to officers. This 23-year-old uh, young man was a vicious killer, that he had in his mind a desire to kill people, and that, uh, and that he followed through with that, and that he was uh, uh, he was a monster, and that he was a, a terrible threat to, particularly to the homeless people in, uh, in our county.